Hello everyone, it's Ryan back again to bring you another video. Today's video we are going to be checking out the marine fish system and invert system. Just before the lockdown we pretty much got things uh, going nicely with the marine side of things. And then of course lockdown occurred and it's just one of those things. So we thought, you know what, we've got a few fish in stock. Uh, we have actually been selling a couple of fish to customers where they've needed something essential like food or salt water or test kits and then they've asked what things we've got in stock and then obviously just delivered the fish to them whilst delivering the essential products so it's worked out okay but I thought why not show you guys what we've got in stock we've got some beautiful fish in at the moment obviously really well settled because they've been in for weeks and weeks and weeks and they've been through uh, copper treatment in the separate quarantine systems where we raise the couple of level up to a minimum of 0.2 obviously that's treatment level and then they're in the copper for about a week two weeks and then we bring them out into the fish system so I'll spin the camera around now and we'll show you the fish and inverse marine fish system so starting with the invert system first tank we've got a pair of mandarins male and female beautiful pair of mandarins see I'm just chilling in the back there and there's the other one. Feather dusters galore, we've still got quite a few feather dusters in. And then we've got the algae eating hermit crabs, or the black legged hermit crabs, the common crab. And then we've also got a couple of these really snazzy little dudes, the citronella goby. Feeding fantastically well on frozen foods at the moment. So that's the first tank. Moving on to the second, we've got Nazareth snails, pair of perk, wild perk clowns, gorgeous pair, so active. Spiny Australia snails, Nazareth snails. Moving on to the next tank, we've got some Halloween hermit crabs, blue eyed hermit crabs. A few of the fire shrimps left available. And a spotted mandarin. Feeds again on frozen foods like a champ. Next tank we've got shrubby lip conches. Great for sand sifting. Bone bee snails. Fantastic for eating vermited snails and another spotted mandarin and also another pair of wild perk clownfish again gorgeous colours to these and then last tank we've got cleaner shrimps and we've also got the barley red legged hermit crabs so just down there and they literally go all over the place. Great for grazing on little bits of algae, any uneaten food. Not too aggressive either. So that's the invert system. Moving up onto the fish system. Yellow tang. Pair of clownfish. And there is a bicolor blenny in here somewhere, but I can't see him right now. A pair of gladiator clownfish, threadfin butterfly fish, and a sea fighter dwarf parrotfish or wrasse. Love that butterfly fish, really, really gorgeous. To be fair, I love all the marine fish, but. That's a particularly nice fish there. Next tank we've got a group of cardinals, Spangai cardinals. Putting on some really nice weight and size now. And then we've got spotted cardinals in this aquarium. Sulfur goby there. There's a spotted hawk fish there as well. 
great little character on this guy. Well, obviously, you just got to be extremely careful with your invertebrates, any snails, shrimps, crabs. Unfortunately, he will decimate. So, not great for the invertebrates. Sorry for the reflection there, but you can see the scooter blenny just chilling on the bottom. Great little fish, always on the go. Firefish. Got a few of them. Another scooter blenny just down there. And a Singapore angelfish. Quite a shy fish. Moving up. We've got the pair of blacker ice oscillaris clownfish. Love the markings on the left hand one. Now on the right hand side. Love the markings on that one. Gorgeous fish. We've got another sea fighter racin. Really bold red coloration. And then just in the tubes, the bottom middle tube, there we go, shot out there, is a blue ring angelfish, juvenile coloration. Really nice. Moving on, we've got another angelfish, looks very, very similar to the blue ring, which is the Koran. Really nice, big sized powder blue tang there. Female wreckfish. And then there's a pair of pink skunk clownfish also. Just in the back there, chilling. Angelfish is beautiful. Moving down, we've got the crazy tank, as I call it. We've got the shot silk gobies or zebra gobies, a couple of different common names to these guys. I think there's about six or seven of these. There's an algae blenny just chilling here. Another sea fighter ass. And then a couple of the pink scooter blennies. And then also a Midas blenny. Oh, and then I almost forgot about the plasma clownfish as well. So you can see just in the top right hand corner here, this is a clownfish species called the plasma clownfish all white really really nice it was literally the only one available gutted I wish there was a pair that'd be amazing but once things start to open back up and obviously fish start being imported a lot more then we will try our best to uh, to get a, a pair of, uh, Another fish for that pair, to make a pair, should I say. And then we've got really nice flasher wrasse. In this tank, that's the male. And then we do have a female as well, paired up with this one. Female is just there. Gorgeous pair of fish. There's a purple firefish there. And then we've got a few of these scissor tail dartfish knocking about and a pair of the captive bred clownfish. And then we move up and we've got this beautiful convict tang. Absolute stunner. There's a coral beauty angelfish as well. Gorgeous purple coloration on that one. And then there is a pink skunk clownfish just in the back. Mm. Looks like he's nodding his head. Great little fish. So as I say, all of the livestock obviously is for sale. We're not posting out at the moment, just with it's, the whole COVID scenario, it's just not fair at the moment to be posting fish or corals or invertebrates. Taking a step back so you can see all the fish, nicely chilled out. As I say, they've been in literally, I think the last import was a week before lockdown. We are, I think, 
six weeks into lockdown now, or seven weeks into lockdown, so these fish have been in for weeks. See that they're really, really chilled out, swimming around happily. They just don't like the camera being shoved in in front of them, which, to be fair, you can't blame them. So that's the fish system, an invert system. For those that would like, wanted a an update where we were at with it, it's coming along nicely. Of course, very, very low stocked with inverts at the moment and we've got an all right selection of fish, but we will be increasing the amount of fish that we will uh, house of course once we start to come out of lockdown and to, and we start to get more inputs coming in again coral table's doing really really well at the moment plenty of frags in stock again unfortunately just really frustrating that we can't be shipping out of them well we've cho we've chosen not to ship out It's just not worth it at the moment. So many companies aren't guaranteeing delivery, next day delivery, and it's, these are live animals at the end of the day, it's just not worth it. So we just gotta wait it out. Corals are growing tremendously well, which is great, nice to see. So at least we will be able to uh, start posting out as soon as lockdown gets lifted well actually i say that me and kelly have agreed that we'll probably leave it a month two months wait for the postal system to kind of get back to normal again and then when it does become no a little bit more normal and we know that the parcels are going to get to you or to the customer then we shall resume posting our calls out and inverts out Check out that acanthophilia, beautiful. That's massive. It's literally about, I'd say 15, 16 inches diameter. So that's just a quick pan of the coral table. And then moving on to our Red Sea Reefer. Now you've seen this in a couple of videos. One recently where we were cleaning the glass. And it's looking tremendously well at the moment. Things are doing great. All the corals are doing well. Fish are thriving. I'd like to get more fish in here. But again, obviously that will just have to wait at the moment. I've cleaned the back panel of glass as well as the sides. Just apart from the, uh, the back bit there, you can see at the back. I struggled cleaning the the Clarus algae off there. But yeah, things are doing great in here at the moment. Doing really, really well. It looks really pink and purple on here. It shouldn't do. So there we have it. That's pretty much our marine side in a nutshell. We're gonna leave the video here for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you like the content, feel free to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so then you get updated each time we upload a new video. Thanks everyone, catch you in the next one.